this evening, there are also many who are participating virtually, and we are so glad that each of you are a part of this ceremony. At this time, I ask you to please turn your attention to my right and join me in welcoming the St. Louis University School for Professional Studies 2021 Candidates for Graduation. Graduates and stage party, you may be seated. My name is Troy Hargrove, and I am the Associate Dean of Enrollment Management and Partnerships. As a two-time alum of St. Louis University, including being a graduate of the School for Professional Studies 18 years ago, I know how hard you have all worked, the sacrifices you have made, and the daily determination you have put forth to make your educational dreams a reality. I am proud of each and every one of you. Today, we celebrate you and your academic achievements. And at all St. Louis University events, it is our slew tr tradition to call upon God to watch over and bless us all. I would now like to invite Dr. Craig Boyd, St. Louis University School for Professional Studies professor, to offer our invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Creator of all that is, we give thanks for this time of graduation and the sense of joy that accompanies this celebration. We give thanks for our families and the many who have sacrificed and worked to see us to this hopeful moment. We give thanks for the instructors, the mentors, the staff and administrators who have challenged, cared, and guided us along this academic journey. We give thanks for our student colleagues who have encouraged us and empathized with our struggles and celebrated with us our successes. In the days, months, and years ahead, grant that we may come to know more clearly the greater purpose that our labors, our learning, our degrees, and various vocations can play in being people for others in promoting the common good. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Boyd. It is now my distinct honor to introduce Dr. Tracy Chapman. Dr. Chapman joined St. Louis University as Dean of the School for Professional Studies and Associate Provost for Distance Education in August of 2017. 
Over the last three and a half years, Dr. Chapman, in collaboration with the school's faculty and staff, led the school in expanding its academic portfolio to include undergraduate and graduate programs particularly relevant to the demands of today's workforce. She has championed readily accessible services to support distance student learning and how we, as a school and university, can continue to grow and expand. Please join me in welcoming School for Professional Studies Dean, Dr. Tracy Chapman. Good evening, everybody. It's so great to see you all here tonight in person and our, the folks that could join us virtually. And welcome to your family and friends. It's truly an honor to stand before you tonight to recognize your achievements, your persistence, particularly in light of the challenges presented by the pandemic this past year. Although this is certainly not our typical pre-commencement ceremony, in which all friends and family are invited to join us in person. We're certainly blessed to be together today, in person and virtually, to celebrate you, our graduates. As a, follow, not, as a fellow non-traditional student who completed my bachelor's degree at the age of 25 and a master's degree at 43, I feel particularly blessed to join you in celebrating your achievements. And thank you for choosing St. Louis University to continue your education, to be your partner as you balanced family, faith, and work while pursuing your education. I certainly hope we served you well. Each of you are part of a 450-year-old tradition, a tradition started by St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. St. Ignatius was one of us. He was a non-traditional student, a student for whom life interrupted his studies. At the age of 33, he returned to grammar school to prepare to attend university. At 38, he attended the University of Paris and took seven years to earn a master's degree. And he was far from a 4.0 student. But he worked hard, completed his education, and had a vision for helping others. St. Ignatius became a champion for bringing education to the people, for providing education in a way that made it available to individuals beyond the privileged. Since its inception, Jesuit education has always embraced new ways of reaching students. And today we are so proud to follow in St. Ignatius' footsteps, using the online classroom to reach students like you, students who do not have the luxury of pursuing um, advanced education in a traditional manner, who are working, serving in the military, taking care of family, and attending to so many demands on your time. As you embark on the next step of your journey, I challenge each of you to continue to follow in St. Ignatius's footsteps, to have the courage to do not what is easy, but what is right, to follow your dreams and convictions, to face the criticism from those who lack your courage with the knowledge that the future belongs to the dreamers, not the critics. In the words of St. Ignatius, go forth and set the world on fire. We're very fortunate to have a speaker with us this evening who has done just that. Ms. Sherry McTire, a 2018 graduate of the Organizational Studies program. Like many of you, Sherry encountered obstacles along her educational journey. Also like you, her resilience, resourcefulness, and relationships provided the support she required to finish her program. Sherry, thank you for joining us today for sharing your story and providing inspiration for our graduates. I came to show up and show out, and you could thank my degree for that. Good evening. I have always been described by others as being an extremely humble person, no matter what my achievement, this was until I received my bachelor's degree from St. Louis University, 
oh yeah, I have earned my bragging rights. <laughs> and I will find any way to bring it up to anyone who will listen. Over the six years it took me to earn my degree, I had my share of incidents which had me questioning if I should give up. My husband's place of employment had moved out of town, so I picked up a second job. Our one car reached the end of his reign, so now I had no vehicle. Also, after a while, I was computerless. When I attended St. Louis University, my class was required to meet in person every Wednesday from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Allow me to paint you a picture. I worked for BJC from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. I had to quickly leave work to catch a public bus to a Metrolink station that would take me to a transfer station to get me to class by 5.30. I mean, I had to run down the street. Sunshine, rain, sleet, or snow. Leaving class was harder than getting there. You see, from class to home, I had to take a Metrolink. If I wanted to wait for the bus to finish my route, the next bus was not due until 10.35 p.m. Some nights were so cold in the winter that I would decide to walk the rest of the way. One and a half miles, in the dark, in the cold, in the rain. That's a school night. I still had homework to do. So BJC from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., second job at the Lumiere Casino from 6 p.m. till 2 a.m., or really till 4 a.m., because that's the time the first Metrolink would come to take me home. The employee lounge had computers, so for the two hours in between clocking out and waiting for the Metrolink, I would do homework. On the evenings I did not work, I took the Metrolink to the SLU library to use a computer to do homework, and would sometimes be there till after 9 p.m. Did I forget to mention I'm also a member of the Air Force Reserves? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That meant when I went on my tours out of state, my books came with me. When I had a laptop, it was packed, but when I did not, I used whatever computer I could find to turn in assignments. I did this for three of my six years and doubled up on classes toward the end. I did not miss one class, nor did I take off any semesters. I had discovered this opportunity and refused to allow any obstacles to hinder my completion. I jumped hurdle after hurdle until I reached the finish line. Sweating forehead, bruised knees, eyes filled so heavy with tears from the pain of the hurdles, I barely leaped over. I never gave up because all of this had to be for something. And that something enhanced my person. My degree is like a power up in a video game. In Super Mario Brothers, Mario will walk through the game, but when he came across that star, he was able to speed through to the next level a little bit faster. My degree is that star, getting me to the next level a little bit faster. My career at BJC has changed since my accomplishment. I hold a leadership position that was in fact created for me. If I was willing to chase buses to get to class, I was going to use what I learned. I became a problem solver. We had a director who retired, and while the new director was settling into the position, I stepped up without being asked and began to assign daily duties in my work area and also created our on-call and weekend schedules for the team. I trained new hires and temporary employees, taking what I learned from my courses at SLU and turning it into action is what gained the attention of leadership. I did it to help my team and myself, but naturally it boosted my position. I told myself I worked hard for this and I was gonna show up and show out. You are graduating from St. Louis University. <laughs> Take advantage of the continued support and resources to you as alumni. SLU does not just drop you off at the graduation station. They genuinely care about your success. So I encourage you to research and utilize all of which you have earned. Remember your journey, appreciate it, and by all means brag about it. You earned it. I got my degree. Thank you.
Thank you for sharing your story, successes, and wisdom with our graduates and their families. We now come to the moment of the evening that you have all been waiting for, the presentation of our degree candidates. Graduating is a special time for all students, but in the School for Professional Studies, we feel that balancing the demands of school, work, family, and social obligations elevates the accomplishments just a little bit more. We also know that our students need a strong support system in place to balance such demands, with many of you in the audience and joining us virtually being that support. As such, we have given each student the opportunity to write words of appreciation, which will be read following each candidate's name. This has become a hallmark of our ceremony and the highlight of my year to be able to share these words. We will start with our certificate, baccalaureate degree, and post-baccalaureate certificate candidates. As I read your name, please stand. You may be seated as I complete your recognition. Angela Harmon. Certificate, Cannabis Science and Operations. I would like to thank my grandmother, Ethel, for showing me how important education is. My loving husband, Dwayne, who supports my dreams. Amaya and Junior for helping mommy study and through technology. Mom and dad and sisters who provided help with my family and cheered me on. Love you all. <laughs> Carl Bundy. Brewing Science and Operations Certificate. I would like to thank my wife, Valerie, for all of her love and support. I love you. Dane Allen. Certificate, Brewing Science and Operations. I want to thank my wife, Emily, and daughter, Ella, for supporting me on this journey, and would also like to thank Mike and Daniel for their guidance and knowledge. Paulo Costa. Certificate, Brewing Science and Operations. Without passion for beer, example from my parents, unconditional support from my family, from true friends, slew colleagues, and awesome teachers, today would not be possible. Cheers to lifelong education. Obrigado, thank you. Avery Merriweather, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. Mom, you have been, you have been and forever will be the key. My combination might change as I evolve and grow, but don't you worry. That is a combination you will always know. You truly have shown me if you help someone, you help everyone. Maurice Anthony Brown, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. God, this took forever. Thank you, Mom, for always being there. Thank you, babe, for being my support. And to everyone in my family, frat, and my circle, thank you for the love, encouragement, and support. And shout out to my main man, Jesus Christ. We did it. S. Michelle Watkins Richardson, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. Thanking my intermediate family for loving me beyond measure encouraging me in more ways than one, and being understanding to all the late dinners. Nights I cried, I pushed myself for you, Reggie, little Reggie, Anaya, and Chancellor. I'm expecting greatness from all of you. I made it. We did it. <laughs> Reginald Richardson, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize everyone that helped me get to this point in my life. My loving wife, my beautiful kids, my mother and father, may he rest in peace. And finally, thank you to the greatest fraternity in the world, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Are you, are you, are you, are you? Tiffany Hendricks, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. To everyone that said a kind and encouraging word, a prayer, or anyone who sent any positivity my way, thank you. Jasmine Ann Marie Moore, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. First, I would like to thank God 
because without him, I would not be standing here today. I am also grateful for my daughter, Chloe, my parents, and my family. Being a student at SLU has been one of the best experiences. I would like to thank my advisor, professors, and the entire SLU staff. Yane Robinson, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Behavior. I am deeply humbled and honored to now be among the elite group of black women that are the most educated group in America. We rise. This is for my mother, who sacrificed so much for me to be here today. I thank God for carrying me through as well. Nancy Jane McEwen, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. Thank you to my amazing family. Your continuous love and support gave me the strength and perseverance that I needed to achieve my goals. I would also like to offer a special thank you to my wonderful husband for your hard work and dedication, which allowed me this amazing opportunity. <clears throat> Leanne Wikes, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. I would like to thank my older children, Kelsey and Trevor, who always supported me in my learning. My five-year-old, Shira, Shira, who would do her homework while I did mine. My mother and sister, who always pushed me to better myself. And my husband, Jeff, who believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Rebecca Hart, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. Robert Day, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. To my parents, Richard and Peggy, thank you for your con continued support throughout my academic career. To my partner, Lynn, thank you for encouraging me to push to be done. Shahida Michelle Hudson, Bachelor of Science, Security and Strategic Intelligence. Shakir and Kim, you were my inspiration. Kara Rashid Kina, you were my motivation. To all of my friends, family, and SLU faculty, I couldn't have done this without you. Lynn Shea Font, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. I thank God for with him all things are possible. Daddy Pat and Linda Fay, thank you. Hannah and PJ, thank you. To my tribe, Memphis, St. Louis, and beyond, you know who you are, thank you. Thank you to all of my professors at SLU, and thank you, BJC. Christina Jones, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. I would like to thank God for allowing me to be here today. I would like to thank my family and friends for their support. A special thanks to my grandchildren for being understanding and patient during my time in school. I had to study verses, spending time with them. Love you guys. Brian Gregory, Bachelor of Science, Security, and Strategic Intelligence. My journey would not have been possible without the support of family and friends. To my family, thank you for encouraging me in all my pursuits and inspiring me to follow my dreams. A special thanks to my wife for her support and encouragement when I wanted to give up. Lastly, thanks to my academic advisors for planning the best pathway to success. Dewan R. Jackson, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Thank you to everyone who helped me reach this milestone today. My mom, my family, my friends, and especially my partner, Matthew, who provided unlimited inspiration and encouragement over the past 25 years. To the SPS staff and many university professors who have made this journey truly meaningful and educational, I could not have done this without you. <laughs> Rosetta Ledbetter, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Thank you to Lana Kelly Hilliard and Justin Smith for being there for me when I needed them. Thank you to all the great staff, but especially Mark Atling, Donna Mooney, and Whale Soleil. Thank you for being awesome teachers. Thanks, Slu. I am proud to be a Billiken. Bridget Wright, 
Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Thank you, God, for your love and promise to stay with me while I completed my degree. I would not be here today graduating without my family's support, the tuition benefit from my employer, and the dedicated professors here at SLU. Don't ever give up on yourself. Nicole Porter, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. I would like to thank my friends and family for being so supportive and encouraging over the years. Special thanks to my dad for all his help along the way and inspiring me to be the best I can be every day. I love and appreciate you all. Kevin Welch, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Alexandria Cantrell, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. I want to thank my husband, Charlie, my children, Romano and Julia, as well as all of my friends and family that supported me throughout my education. I would also like to thank all of my parents, including my late father, Malcolm Robert Keith, who is proudly watching me today with God. Brian Carpenter. Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership and Technology. I would like to thank my ancestors for the inspiration and wisdom to accomplish such a task. I want to thank my wife for her continuous support and patience while I worked effortlessly to complete this degree. My children for their ongoing love and affection for me while I was taking my courses. I would also like to thank all of the professors that were associated with me earning this degree. Lawrence F. Mathis II, Bachelor of Science, Project Management. I would like to thank my mother for her boundless love, father for showing me the alternative paths, wife for her support, professors for I hope some of them enjoyed what I had to say, and the one who pushed me towards the project management program, thank you. Brian Murphy. Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. I would like to thank my wife, daughters, and parents for all their love and support throughout the past couple of years. I couldn't have done it without all of you. <laughs> Kayla Cook, Bachelor of Science, Emergency Management. My mom, Phyllis DeWitt, who is showing me what a strong woman is my dad, Craig Nelson, for loving me as your own. To my best friend, Mackenzie, who is my rock, and my boyfriend, Rue, for the endless love and support. Thank you. Marshall Smith, Bachelor of Science, Emergency Management. I would like to thank my mom and dad for their unwavering support in everything I do. I love you to the moon and back. Anthony Grayson, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. My parents, their inspiration to finish. Emily, her encouragement to stay the course. My children, which my hopes and dreams rest. Joshua Melvin Johnson, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Strategic Intelligence. I would like to thank any and everyone who has helped or encouraged me along this journey. My friends and my family, especially my mom. The biggest thank you goes out to my biggest supporter, my daughter, Corey. Everything I do is for you. Please join me in congratulating the 2021 St. Louis University School for Professional Studies Certificate baccalaureate degree and post-baccalaureate certificate graduates. <laughs> Next, we will recognize our master's degree candidates. Dr. Grawich and Dr. Lyons, please step forward to hood the candidates. 
Master's degree candidates, as I read your name, please stand. You may be seated as I complete your recognition. Amy Greider, Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development. Thanks to my family and friends for their support and specifically to Michelle Bridges for making this journey so fun. Deep thanks to Dr. Giancola for her guidance and to all the professors who made the LOD program so engaging and effective. Michelle Bridges, Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development. Darren, you believe in me when I don't believe in myself. Dr. Winton, you were right. Dr. Giancola, you challenged and inspired me. Amy, from classmate to cherished friend. We did it, finally. I am grateful for my family, friends, and very patient professors. Nancy Ann McLean, Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development. I would like to thank all of my family, especially my parents, Carl and Bertie McLean, who have been my biggest supporters. I would also like to dedicate this degree to my niece, Alexandria McCain. Here's to the next exciting chapter. Rebecca Oswald, Master of Science, Strategic Intelligence. Thank you, Trevor, for your unwavering support, love, and understanding. Thank you, Mom, for your guidance and endless wisdom. Thanks to my instructors and coworkers at SPS, I will always cherish the memories, opportunities, and knowledge gained. And thanks to my family and friends for the endless support and encouragement. Kwaku Sefra, Master of Science, Applied Analytics. I want to thank my parents, Isaac and QB Sefa, and also my brothers. I would like to thank my friends, especially Lisa, Jim, and Josiah for their support, and my mentor, Andy Frizella, for the inspiration. Most importantly, I want to thank God for my life and today's achievement. <clears throat> Melissa Politish, Master of Arts, Leadership, and Organizational Development. Savannah Davis, Master of Science, Strategic Intelligence, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate in Evidence-Based Decision-Making. To my parents, thank you so much for all your support and love for me. I could have not done this without you both. Love always, Savannah. <clears throat> Alexia Green, Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development. Thank you to my God-fearing parents, whom without them, I would not know how to trust God in all things. Thank you to my sweet husband, who has dealt with my craziness for 10 years. And thank you, God, for my beautiful boys. Rest in heaven, Daddy. I did it. <clears throat> Ravendranath Arunachalam, Master of Science, Strategic Intelligence. Thank you, my family, for being there, be it during my good or challenging days, and for giving me love that I very much cherish. My children, I wish for you to keep learning, growing, and live your life with raison d'etat. Thank you to my teachers and well-wishers. <clears throat> Jessica Garby, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. Thank you, Jesus. My fiance, Logan, my mom, dad, brothers, and dogs. Please join me in congratulating the 2021 St. Louis University School for Professional Studies Master's Degree graduates. Lastly, we would like to honor those who are participating this evening virtually. Margaret Erin Workman, Master of Arts, 
leadership, and organizational development. My sincere thanks to my family and friends for their encouragement as I fulfilled my dream of earning a master's degree. To my husband, thank you for being my greatest support and biggest fan. To my parents, thank you for everything you have done to help me reach this dream. Ryan Witt, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. Thank you to my family for the drive. Sleep is for the week. I am finally done with school. Corey Hertwick, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Applied Analytics. Thank you to my wife Mandy for her love and support as I pursued my personal growth. Rachel Johns. Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. I would like to thank my mother, Michelle Johns, and my academic advisor, Ebony Chisholm, for encouraging me during rough patches. It is because of them I persevered and crossed the finish line. The, the, uh, though this degree was long overdue by my personal standards, they reminded me it's never too late. Anzani Shalise Fitton. Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate in Evidence-Based Decision-Making. I would like to thank my parents, my friends, and my awesome support system for being my backbone and biggest cheerleaders. I would not be here without them. I would also specifically like to thank my mother, who has always told me to reach for the stars. Michael Paul Hairsign. Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership and Technology. Thanks to my mom and dad for pushing me and believing in me. Thanks to my brothers and extended family for always being there for me, and to my friends for never giving up on me and being there for me. Lisa Below, Certificate, Project Management. To my mom, Maya Angelou stated that I have never, that I have learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will not forget how you made them feel. I feel loved. Thank you for sharing one of your greatest loves with me, the love of learning. Sarah Sealing, Master of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Development. This achievement results from hard work and the expertise and encouragement of the School for Professional Studies educators. You are an amazing group. I am also grateful for the support of my husband, Todd, throughout the program. We are a great team, too. Thank you. Anna Okampaugh, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. I would like to thank my entire family for their support, especially my husband, Derek, and my sons, Gage and Liam, for always supporting me and motivating me. Dana Robinson, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. Floyd Cheney, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Thank you to SLU and professors for a great education. Thank you to my son and entire family for your support and understanding. Joy. E.C. Holt, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. Thank you to my husband, Armand, for his love, patience, and support. There were some long nights. Thank you, Ashley, for the words of support, you gotta finish, which have stayed with me. I also must thank my family for setting the foundation for my educational success. Love you all. Sean Gordon, Bachelor of Arts, Organizational Studies. Thank you to Nikki, Brendan, and Colin for their help, love, and support trying to get an old guy through school. I couldn't have done this without them. Blah, blah, blah. Corita Humphreys, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. I would like to thank my family for encouraging me to continue pursuing my education and my professors for being willing to answer any questions I have and pushing me to do better. This journey wasn't taken alone, so thank you to everyone who helped me on the way. 
Please join me in congratulating all of the 2021 St. Louis University School for Professional Studies graduates. At this time, please turn your attention to the screens throughout the arena for a special message from St. Louis University President, Dr. Fred Pastello. Greetings, graduates. While my formal remarks to all of the graduates will be delivered in the virtual commencement on Sunday, I wanted to take this opportunity to acknowledge this moment of passage at your pre-commencement. This is your day. Congratulations to the parents, family, friends, and other supporters watching virtually. We are pleased to share this momentous occasion with you. We share your pride in these Billikens. While the past 15 months have been difficult, together we pulled through as one slew. Despite the challenges and obstacles, you made it. All of us at SLU celebrate all of you who are now embarking on the next step in the journey in your lives. You leave prepared to go forth and set the world on fire. Remember that regardless of where your life's journey takes you, you will always be welcome here at SLU. May God bless each of you and St. Louis University. I would now like to invite Dr. Craig Boyd back to the podium to offer our benediction. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God, the Father of lights, from whom every good and perfect gift comes to us, who began a good work in you, bring it to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May you have the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments, always confident in the support of your friends and family who love you. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, challenging you to seek the difficult truth while caring deeply for others. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world, always and everywhere, for a higher purpose and a greater good. And may the Spirit of God be with you always. Amen. As a St. Louis University School for Professional Studies and Chaffetz School of Business alum, it is my pleasure to welcome you, the graduates, to the ranks of the 129,000 plus SLU alumni across the United States and the world. While your days in the School for Professional Studies may now be over, there are many ways to stay connected to the university as a graduate, and we look forward to sharing those moments with you in the future. And now, as we close out our 2021 pre-commencement ceremony, and in an effort to maintain social distancing, we ask the following. Family and friends, please meet your graduates outside of the arena and continually continue to socially distance throughout campus. There are many photo opportunities available. Graduates will be escorted outside to meet you there as well. And finally, I would like to leave you with the words of Maya Angelou. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. SLU graduates, you have so much to be proud of, and I wish each of you every success imaginable. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the School for Professional Studies at St. Louis University, congratulations, graduates. <laughs>